Hi, Katie. Hi, how you doing? Good. So glad to have you with us again. I want to let our audience know that since the last time um, Katie and I spoke um, on one of these videos, she has met with our group. We've um, kind of talked about some texts for the song that Katie is composing for Sangre de Cristo Corral. And um, so we're going to check in with her today to see what she's thinking as she begins the process of composing. So Katie, you want to fill us in? Yeah, so, you know, it was such a great experience to be able to chat a little, little bit for the choir and just kind of get a sense for who they are and kind of like what the energy is there. And then um, Fred has passed along some texts to me um, that people have sent in as sort of ideas. And, you know, it's, it's always interesting to see when you give a really open-ended prompt how people respond to that. And so we've gotten kind of a breadth of sorts of material um, where ranging from sort of really heartfelt reflections on this time to, you know, a number of other sort of lyrics or poetry that I think speak to people in how they feel now. So when I go through these personal reflections, what I'm looking for is images. Um, I'm looking for sort of sensory things. Um, you know, I know that where you guys are in New Mexico, you know, the, um, the landscape is very much a character and very much a um, living entity in, in, in the life of the community. And so, you know, I want, you know, images of mountains and of, of, of sun and, you know, these kinds of things that are part of your world in a way that is tactile and feels organic. And then when I look at, you know, other sorts of poems and things like that, I'm looking for sort of structure and arc and things like that. And what about this speaks to you? Um, you know, when I was in um, grad school learning how to write lyrics, one of the things we would do is like, you'd take a pop song that worked for your moment. And then you'd write like sort of an outline of like, of how those pieces are flowing. And then take those kind of structures and create something made out of the imagery we have in this other set of texts and put them together into something that hopefully means something. And then, you know, write some music as one does. We are so <laughs> excited to see what you come up with and, and um, thanks for sharing a little bit of your compositional process with us because that's really interesting about that you start, you kind of start with some structure. So, and I think a lot of composers- Oh, structure is everything. Thanks for talking with me, Katie. It's so yeah. nice to visit with you and we'll look forward to seeing you the next time. Awesome, thanks so much. Bye, Bye. guys.